come be saying about our federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, in as much as this bill, as proposed by our leader, is one of is a bill that is needed, it is difficult, very difficult in Nigeria to prove residency. Residency is proven by getting a driver's license in the area where you reside or showing something to show that you reside there permanently. No country can operate without a structure wherein somebody can establish his residency. This bill, if it is meant to show that when you are traveling from outside the country or you are a citizen of another country migrating to Nigeria to come and vote, because this bill is targeted at voting, it is going to be very easy for all of us. But somebody who is born, bred in Lagos, and is in a good state, and wants to go to his state to vote, and when he gets there, the house wherein he wants to return. style, so he has the floor. Thank Please you, continue. Mr. Speaker, for protecting me. My leader, I am experienced in this area. I am an immigration lawyer and I practice law for over 28 years in this area, so I can talk authoritatively on it. Now, I want to say to the House that if we need to establish residency, we must make it concretely clear that anybody, any person who wants to be a resident of a state must have resided in that state for a minimum of six months. Clear and clear. And once that person has resided in that state for six months, you may not transfer your voter's card within that six months until, until the election is finished. But when somebody is uncomfortable in a state or in a place and he wants to go home, we cannot, as a matter of constitutional right, stop migration. So, Mr. Speaker, in as much as I adore our leader for bringing up this bill, the, the House must first of all put up structures and bills that establishes residency in Nigeria. How long does a person have to reside in a place before you tell him you are from Yoruba, you are from Igbo, you are from Hausa, you are from this, you can't go and vote? Because even those who are resident in some states, are prevented from voting. So how do we now want to say, you want to stop that person from going to a place where he knows that it, he is born from, or he, is, he resides, or his parents resides, where he is received. You have to now stop him from migrating to vote. I said to the House, this house, this bill is pro appropriate, but at this time, it is going to be difficult to enforce. Electricity bill can be in somebody else's name. EEDC will not allow you to vote or to even reside in a place unless you have cleared the electricity bill in that particular address. If that address you want to reside is not, is not. Honorable, thank you.